Hi, I'm Cookie, and if one more person adjusts the thermostat in here without my permission, I will destroy everything they have ever loved. Got that? Are you four part of a cult? You all take care of those screws now. You can force another player to answer immediately by hitting your screw button. If they miss it, you win extra bonus dollars. And our wrong answer of the game is sponsored by... Is it a dog? Just answer yes or no to the various photos based on whether or not you think it's a dog or not. Then you'll win the game. How fun is that? Very... Pick the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to win a fabulous prize and big cash. <laughs> so why not get started? Get ready, time for question. One. Kicking things off. High fructose fun syrup. Which of these food products does not contain corn syrup? <laughs> Kellogg's Corn Pop Cereal, Brock's Candy Corn, State Fair Classic Corn Dogs, or Cracker Jack Caramel Coated Popcorn and Peanuts? <laughs> Player one, players three and four. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. <laughs> Player two. Sorry, but most frozen corn dogs have corn syrup in them too. Makes them more fattening, which is a huge selling point amongst frozen corn dog eaters. <laughs> Player one. The sweetness in Kellogg's corn pops comes merely from sugar and the love they put in. I like foods with as much corn as possible. That's why I'm pleased to announce my very own new product, Cookie Masterson's genetically modified corn covered corn nubbins. Oh. I'm eating one now. Mmm. Oh, the cream corn and corn nuts go so well together. Mmm. Get some today. Oh, I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. Tell you so. Next, fly me to the cloon. And this desert dad is hurtling through the cosmos. Player four. We gotta get you back in the game. Take a run at this dis or dat. I'm gonna read off seven titles, and for each one you tell me if it's... A scientific publication by Galileo Galilei, or... A George Clooney movie. If it's... Galileo, press the square button. If it's... Clooney, press the circle button. Now the rest of you listen up. Lock in your answers before player four does. Because if player four gets it wrong, everyone who got it right will split that cash. We good? Here we go. Solaris. Brother, where art your brain? You know, sometimes when I look up in the night sky into the deep expanse of space, I can't help but wonder, why wasn't Monuments Men a better movie? Ah, uh, just one of the mysteries of the universe, I suppose. Coming up next... You know what they say about the size of a man's fret? Considering the respective sizes of their instruments, which of these male musicians is the least likely to be accused of <clears throat> compensating for something? A clarinet player, a piccolo player... Player one, who are you gonna screw? You're screwed, player three. Five seconds to pick an answer. The piccolo is actually a half-sized flute and the smallest of these instruments. So the piccolo player seems the least likely to be compensating for the size of their, um, other instrument. And as long as I've already gone through the trouble of setting up this premise, I would just like you to know, I play kazoo. Unfortunately, player one, you're screwed. How about Alt-Shift Medicine? 
I've been getting into Eastern medicine lately because I hate taking lots of pills, but this is kind of weird. My specialist gave me a fortune cookie. Cookie, fortune cookie, fortune twist. Cookie, fortune cookie, message. Not that I'm complaining. I love cookies. Let's see what my fortune says. Prescription. One cookie AC. Now weird. It's a prescription. I'm not great with medical abbreviations, though. Uh, when was I supposed to eat my cookie? First thing in the morning, before a meal, after a meal, or at bedtime? <laughs> no. Correct answer, show yourself. AC is a common medical abbreviation used on prescriptions and means before meal. Uh oh, I already ate dinner today. That means I took this fortune cookie at the wrong time. I just hope there's no side effect. Hmm, I think it's all fog. I think it make a good thing after all. Do you smell burning plastic? Here's a good one. Till the closing credits do us part. If it followed the processional order of a traditional Christian wedding, what movie would probably have come out immediately after Bridesmaids, assuming the maid of honor is a bridesmaid? A raunchy comedy called Groomsman? A gross-out comedy called Ring Bearer? A racy comedy called Father... Alright, Player 2, let me know who's getting screwed. Believe it, Player 3, you're screwed. You got five seconds to answer. Um, really? Player 2, you handle that screw very well. Want a little more money? Player 4? In a traditional Christian wedding, the bridesmaids come out, including the maid of honor, last. Then the ring bearer immediately follows, then the flower girl, then the bride. The best part of the Ring Bearer movie is when the Ring Bearer comes down the aisle and steps in a huge crap left by Melissa McCarthy. Ah. Players 1 and 2? Don't soil the memory of that wholesome movie by calling it racy. Ah. That's the end of a thrilling first round. And Player 4 is at the head of the pack. Unfortunately, we got a pretty crappy game going on. Don't forget, all the questions in round 2 are worth double. And remember, big cash prizes can be yours if you find the wrong answer of the game. It's time. Say hello to... Animation dumb nation Which member of the Griffin family from Family Guy most likely got a recent Apgar score? Stewie, Peter, Brian, or Meg? <laughs> The correct answer is... The APGAR scale is a detailed test used to assess the overall health of newborn babies, something that Stewie Griffin, a baby, experienced the most recently. And based on the shape of his head, he should have gotten an F-. minus. No, APGAR scores are for humans, not dogs. But you know what is for humans? Is it a dog? The game! The newest, coolest party game from the people who brought you Which One is the Spoon? And How Many Fingers Am I Holding Up? This wrong answer of the game has earned you a sweet 8,000 clams. Well done. Question 7! It's time for... Keep Your Hellos to Yourself. Which one of these pop stars is giving a polite Tibetan greeting? Miley Cyrus sticking out her tongue, Justin Bieber flipping the bird, Britney Spears flashing her crotch, or Lady Gaga wearing meat? Players 2, 3, and 4? Interesting choice. <laughs> Player 1. In Tibet, some people stick out their tongue as a greeting to show you they don't have a black tongue. If they did, it would mean they are the reincarnation of a cruel 9th century king. <laughs> Not that anyone would ever suspect Miley Cyrus of being the reincarnation of a cruel 9th century king. Everybody knows she's the reincarnation of Hannah Montana. Duh. Follow me down to the sea. Oh, Why not try trivia and stuff? Where might the CEO of Linens and Things go to shop for the materials needed to make all the stores linen and things? Flax plants and things? Agave seeds? Oh, player three! Who's getting the screw job? Uh, player three?
Did you mean to screw yourself? I only ask because most people like to keep their cash. Can we continue now? Player two. Whoa. Whoa. Player four. Silkworms. Hmm. Now, I think, and I, I would have to double check this, that they make silk. Player one. Linen is made from the fiber of the flax plant, and things are made from other things, presumably. So this might be where the CEO goes to shop. Although he would probably make somebody else do the shopping for him. I mean, this is a guy who is too lazy to finish spelling the word and. Here we have low spirits. As some of you may know, our studio is haunted by a ghost named Dennis. Well, I'm proud to announce that today I've promoted Dennis to be a writer. Ooh, thank you, Mr. Masterson. It's great because not only is Dennis hilarious, I found out that I'm not legally required to pay a ghost. Which reminds me, Kyle, you're fired. Again? But you already fired and rehired me twice this week! Yeah, you're fired again. So Dennis, let's get you a desk and uh, figure out how to get you in the credits at the end of the game. How should the end credits read if Dennis the Ghost ghost writes for our former writer, Kyle Mortensen? Written by Dennis the Ghost, written by Dennis the Ghost and Kyle Mortensen, written by Kyle Mortensen, or... A ghost writer is employed to write for someone but does it under their employer's name. So get ready for a lot more questions about rattling chains and moaning and unfinished business, trapping oneself in this mortal realm, blah blah blah. Ooh, I also have some ideas for questions about Breaking Bad. Ooh. No good. I call this one, Flash him if you got him. What would you expect to see in a spring break video called Girls Gone Call of the Wild? Girls exposing themselves as they harpoon a whale. Girls lifting their shirts as they fight it. Why player four? Who do you care to screw? Oh, you're screwed player one. You got five seconds. The novel Call of the Wild follows a sled dog and his owners during the Klondike Gold Rush. But there is no nudity in the actual book called The Wild, unless you count the doodles I made in the margins. Player 4, carefully you screw next time! Step right up to the jack attack. When you see two clues that match, press the X button. 2,000 if you're right. But you lose 2,000 if you're wrong. And don't forget... Remember the clue! It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Don't forget my advice. When it comes to do's and don'ts, let's focus on the don'ts.
dirt. I mean, check it out. They're filthy. Hit the showers, folks. And while you're in there, sing a few verses of... You don't know Jack! And ever since I was a little boy, I wanted to be a professional baseball player. Well, now I'm 36 and going nowhere fast. So that's why I'm starting Kyle Pepper's Professional Baseball League. We only have three rules. One, everyone's welcome regardless of gender or race. Two, every team starts with five runs so they don't feel bad. And three, every Tuesday night we trade spouses and experiment sexually. Okay, okay, you probably just said, I can't believe what I just heard. You start with five runs? Tryouts are this Thursday at 6 in my backyard, with a small tickle party starting at 9. Kyle Pepper's Professional Baseball League. I can't wait to meet you! Ugh, don't you hate going to the movies by yourself? I mean, I do. We have so much in common. I mean... Maybe you and I should sometimes, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, whatever. I guess there aren't any good movies showing right now anyway, so never mind. Forget I said anything. That was stupid. <laughs> this message paid for by people who think you and Tina should go out on a date sometime just to see how it goes. That's so embarrassing. I did not put them up to that. Also paid for by Tina.